All right, so now we're supposed to set the float. And by what the book says, we are supposed to make sure it's swung all the way out. And then we're supposed to come to these corners. Of course, it's in the float position right now for hydraulics. We're supposed to come to these corners and we're supposed to try and lift up. <laughs> it's only supposed to be, um, make sure we're still in float. It's only supposed to be like 150 pounds to lift it. 120 to 150 basically. And that side's pretty close. The other side is nowhere near it. So just looking at this side, it is definitely, definitely pulled way tighter than this side. So we've got to adjust this. I don't know what size any of this is, but um, we've got to adjust the springs in the back in order to um, make this float like it's supposed to. So we're gonna go gather our tools together again and uh, we're gonna try and make this float, uh, which actually shouldn't be a problem. See, looking at this one, we got quite a bit there. Like no spring tension on that side, really. This side, you can definitely see some spring tension, but not on the other side. But anyway, I'm gonna go get some tools and we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we gotta adjust this spring. There's, there's really no tension on it. Um, it looks like it's a 15 16 We got a jam nut right here. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna see how hard it is to do this by hand because sometimes it's really not good to do it with an impact. So let's see what's going on here. Okay, so what size is that? It's an inch and an eighth at least. Mm. It's bigger than an inch and an eighth. Oh. I don't know if I have a three sixteenths. We definitely got some tension on them now. I'm gonna go around front and lift up on it and see what it feels like. Uh, I don't think we're still anywhere close to it. I mean, 150 pounds is Our jam nuts more. I don't even have all the side covers over here. Let's see. I can't tell if it's making any difference at all on that side. I said this side's not too bad. I think we're getting there.
I'm just checking if having to float. Yeah. We're getting somewhere. I don't think that matters. But we're definitely getting somewhere. Anyway, what I was going back to, I've seen people use like big old fish scales and lifting up on it to measure it. But if I'm not mistaken, you could just use a regular old scale as long as you, you know, are within the confines of that scale. You'd have to lift it up with something and then set it down on that scale. It should work. I'm gonna get this one down to the jam nut and stop. Okay. We're gonna stop there while I'm messing around with this thing. I'm gonna untangle my air hose and my electrical cord from the water hose. Look at that right side tire over there needs some air. I don't know if that'll affect it or not, but we're gonna go ahead and address that. I know it needs new tires. Um, but be quite honest, so does everything else. I'll put some air in this tire over here real quick. Of course it's on the inside. That's pretty good. Tires really look like they're gonna blow out. But anyway, all right, so in theory, like I said, we could probably stick a real scale into this thing. Oh. Now that's definitely a lot better than it was. I bet you that'll keep it from digging in. So, I'm gonna switch, cause this is the boring part. I'm gonna switch to the other side um, where you can kind of see what's going on over here. So we're gonna move over here and uh, stand this up. So tighten that up there. You can kind of come up just a little bit there. All right. So we're kind of going to, I don't want to walk under it. We're going to lift up on it. And it says you're supposed to adjust all these with it tilted all the way out. But anyway, so from where we started to there, that's pretty good. Um, and it says at most, it should be 150 pounds. I think I'm gonna go get the scale. I think that's what I'm gonna do. And the train jack, so I can lift it up, set it on there. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. We'll be back in a minute. All right, so we do. We got our bathroom scale under there. Mommy's gonna kill us. <laughs> And zero. All right. Pull this out. We're going to go to this side over here. 
in just a minute. I love my train jack. I might actually, let's try it the way they say. Might be a little light that way. That might be too much. Well, they want it 150. Well, it says 150, 150 pounds. Yeah, see, that's not 150 pounds. I can tell you that right now. I mean, how, what I don't understand is it, I mean, it tells you that, but like, is that before it starts lifting or what? Because right now, this side's kind of floating, you know what I mean? It's kind of up in the air. Might need to go read the destructions again. All right, so... I'm not sure my scale method really worked, but... That's not bad. That's not bad either. It's definitely better than what it was because I couldn't lift it before. So I guess the key now is going to be drive and see how it floats. I guess. I'll lock them down first. Not sure my thinking was right with the scale, Shaley. <clears throat> All right. Will you please take mommy's scale back inside? She's gonna know. No, she's not. Only if you tell her. <laughs> you messed up. So I guess it's time to go play with it for a little bit and see what we see. Not really gonna run the blades or anything. Just gonna uh, see how it skips across the ground. So we'll get everything switched over to the uh, tractor mounted GoPro and we'll go run it again. So. That's step one on adjusting the springs, I guess. Okay, so we bought a, a scale. Um, it's a crane scale. And I make sure the hold is on. Sometimes I can hold it long enough. So again, by our book, we're supposed to be no more than 150 pounds. So we're gonna stick that right there. We're going to lift. Oh, good gracious. 357. <sighs> okay. 
So that side's way too heavy. Which it wasn't the other day. I'm wondering about those springs, how good they are. This side. 136. See, that's different than it was before. It is different. Now it's at 96. It says that side's too light. Hang on. Now it says 153, 52, 50, 150. Okay, so this one needs adjusted this a little bit. The other one needs adjusted a lot. But what's bad is the other side wasn't wasn't that way the other day when I was doing this. It was lighter than that, like the spring stretching. Well, I also put another 50, 60 pounds on it. So um, we're going to tighten this up. I don't need this over here. So this one could go just a little bit. Oh, the other thing I probably should do is, I, mean, I don't think it would matter. This tire's a little low. That shouldn't matter though. So we're gonna tighten this side first. Two, three, four, five. Now let's see what it says. Can you just tighten the bolt and the spring? Well, yeah, you're tightening the spring. Hundred sixty-three, hundred sixty. Go down again. Stop at one hundred sixty-three. I know, but I need to know where it settles. Still moving. Hundred. Thirty-two. It's still on there. Yep. No, it won't come off. It says hold on there when it says. I know that's what it's supposed to do, but it wasn't doing it yesterday. Okay. So a little bit more. It's supposed to be between, it says unless you have really rocky fields, the most it's supposed to be is 150. So let's try and get the other side to 130 something. I wonder if I should pick it up and put it back down between adjustments. I don't know. Now we could do this and then we could pick it up. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna try this side again. It was what? 300 and what? Give me an idea. 245. Okay, so it's already still way too heavy.
Let's see. <clears throat> I think I need to pick it up and put it back down. Just to see. That's definitely in float. Let's see what it reads now. It's point three one and it has a note. over here again. probably good this one over here is being stubborn and then back down and we'll test it again. Let's see. <clears throat> Still not enough. All right, keep going. I'm going to raise it up. I think it'll be easier to turn the thing. I said from, I don't think this thing was ever adjusted from the factory.
see what that does. Yeah, it makes sense from where I was at before, I think, because that's probably 50 pounds. That other piece is probably 15, and then that other piece is probably 15. Let's try this again. Three and hope. Oh, well, that's much different. All right, let's try this again. We've been adjusting on it. get it somewhere right around that 130 mark. Let's say two. Yeah. Which isn't actually two, it's more like half. But well, I'm just letting it kind of reset, I guess. Okay. I don't know if that makes a difference or not, but Ready? Ready. I'm not. 111, 83. How in the hell? That was interesting. Now it says... It's going back and forth but from like 35 to... Now it's 137, 136, 130, 130, 129.7. All right, that's probably close enough. It changes, that's for sure. So, oh, we need to check this side again. I don't have the hole that the other one had. Ready? I knew changing that one would change this one some. We're going to do this again. And then try this one. Try and lift it in the same spot as the other one. Try. This side doesn't have a hole. Mm -hmm. 170, 168, 168, 170. It says hold. 167, 65, it's going down. 138, 142. Yeah, it's going back up, 167. It's just getting it barely off the ground is what you're supposed to do like that right there 139 47 okay so tighten it up just a little bit then i think we'll be done i'm gonna lock this side down
Now, I don't know why this one doesn't have a hole there, but or what even is supposed to be in the hole. In the hole on the other side. Ready? Mm -hmm. 145, 38, 37, 137.3. It's about where we were on the other side, isn't Roughly. it? Okay. 130, I don't remember. Yeah, I think it's within five pounds. All right. Seven. Well, that's it. It's all adjusted. We're going to call that good because it appears that it changes pretty drastically all the time. Put this thing back in here. Gotta lock this one down. All right, that's that for that. Now we just need to wash it. All right, that's it for adjusting the springs on this thing. Um, Keep watching, we'll clean it up and we'll do another quick video.